In my last spearfishing episode, I took you diving in some old oyster leases looking for flathead. Found some massive ones, way too big to shoot, and some really tiny ones, way too small to shoot. Consolation prize was getting a nice whiting or two, but didn't really achieve success on flathead, which are one of my favorite fish to eat. So today I'm going to jump back in hunt these old oyster leases and try and find some flathead. I finally got my eye in so I'm seeing more of them but finding fish within that 36 to 70 centimeter range is proving to be a challenge. Oh there's a good one about 40 centimeters. Nice fish for fish tacos. And as I was dispatching it, I saw this whiting swimming past. I couldn't help myself. It's one of my favorite eating fish too. Really big whiting. Beautiful, beautiful fish. A couple of big brim coming out of the weeds. Here's a nice flathead, absolutely botching the shot, causing a domino effect with other flathead emerging from the sand. I didn't even see those flathead, they were buried so deep. Look at this little one while I'm loading, let that one go. This one's borderline legal, it's pretty small, decide not to shoot it, let it go, really want to make sure that I'm getting fish within that slot size limit. But there was one to the left of it where it stopped. So I'm just going to look away from them for a moment so I don't spook them and then try and give you a better look. Again, kind of borderline, not flathead that I want to shoot. You can see two next to each other there, one on the left, one on the right. Beautiful looking fish. Let them grow, let them get bigger. That's a good flathead right there. See that one between the logs? Oh, did not expect that to happen. Three fish all hanging out together and the smallest one spooked the other two right before I pulled the trigger on the medium sized one. They seem to like this log. It's a perfect little hole for them to hang in. I guess they can sit there and camouflage in the shade and then ambush their prey. Big flathead lie there. Little tiny flathead left over. Let this one swim off as well. Huge school of whiting there in the distance, see them? Mixed in with some brim as well. Didn't have a shot though, so I let those ones swim past. Nice big ludric hanging in there too. Here's a nice flathead. This one's a matrix flathead. Tried to shoot it and at the last minute it turned and didn't let me get it, but there's another one which is perfect size for fish tacos right there. Oh, that's a good one. I just came off into some shallow water to be able to pull it out of the bag after dispatching with it. But yeah, that's a good one. That's kind of the sort of size I was after. Right, measure it up and just find a reference. See how big this thing is. <sighs> about 47 centimeters 48 close to 48 centimeters perfect that's a good size
peak whiting on this drop off, swimming up. No chance of getting that one, it was already spooked. But this is a good zone. Amazing how much they camouflage, they're so hard to find, but when you get your eye in, you start to see them everywhere. Oh, oh, that one coming off the weed and spooking the other one. Really hard to get a good shot with all that dust from the sand being kicked up. And just like that, the tide changes and the water starts to get murky again. Time to head in, clean up the fish, take them home and have some fish tacos. All right, catch you next time. See you.